In this video, we're diving into a comprehensive review of Trello. If you're looking for a simple visual tool to manage tasks and projects, Trello might already be on your radar. I've been using Trello for years now, so I'll break down its pricing, features, ease of use, and what it's best for. By the end of this video, you will know exactly if Trello is the right fit for your needs. Before we dive in, just a quick heads up, some links in the description are affiliate links. That means I may earn a small commission if you decide to make a purchase through them, but this won't cost you anything extra and it helps me support my channel. Now, let's get started. What is Trello and who it's for? Trello helps people organize tasks and projects in a simple visual way like a digital bulletin board where you can move cards around as you track progress. It's part of the Atlassian family, which also owns other tools like Jira for more advanced project management. Trello is perfect for individuals, small teams, and medium-sized companies that need an easy way to manage projects. It's especially great for creative teams or businesses avoiding overly complicated software. For very large teams or very complex projects, though, Trello might feel limited unless you add extra features or power-ups. What's great about Trello? Trello's simplicity is one of its best features. It's incredibly easy to use, even if you've never tried project management software before. Its visual style makes it clear what needs to be done, who is responsible, and how far along each task is. You can customize the layout, add colorful labels, and even use fun extras like stickers and animations to make the experience more engaging. Another thing I love about Trello is that it's highly flexible. Whether you're planning a personal project, managing a team's workflow, or coordinating with freelancers, you can set up Trello boards to match your needs. It also integrates with over 200 other apps like Slack, Google Drive, and Microsoft Teams, so you can keep everything connected. One standout feature is Trello's automation tool called Butler. Butler helps you automate repetitive tasks like moving cars to a different list when they're marked as done or sending reminders when deadlines are near. The best part is that you don't need to know how to code to set up these automations. What's not so great about Trello? While Trello is fantastic for simple tasks, it does have its limits. For example, if you need advanced tools like detailed timelines, Gantt charts, or built-in time tracking, you'll need to use add-ons called power-ups. Some of these power-ups are free, but others can get pricey, especially if your team needs a lot of extra features. Another drawback is the limited role management on the free plan. You can assign tasks and set deadlines, but you won't get much control over who can edit or view specific boards unless you're on one of the higher tier plans. If you're running a large team or a business with strict security requirements, you'll need to pay for the enterprise plan which can get quite expensive. Lastly, Trello doesn't have built-in chat, so you'll need to use another tool like Slack for team communication. This isn't a huge deal, of course, since Trello integrates well with other apps, but it's just something to keep in mind. How much does Trello cost? Trello has a free plan, which is great for individuals or small teams. On this plan, you get unlimited cards, 10 boards per workspace, and unlimited power-ups. You can also use Trello's mobile app, add custom backgrounds and stickers, and access basic automation with up to 250 commands per month. Now, if you need more features, you can choose from free paid plans. The standard plan costs $5 per user per month and gives you unlimited boards, advanced checklists, and 1,000 automation commands per month. The premium plan, which costs $10 per user per month, includes new views like calendar and timeline, unlimited automation, and admin controls. Finally, there's the enterprise plan, starting at $17.50 per user per month, designed for large organizations with advanced security and permission features. Overall, the free plan is one of the best I've seen for simple task management, but you'll need a paid plan if you want access to premium features or if you're managing a larger team. How easy is Trello to use? Trello is one of the most user-friendly tools I've come across. The interface is clean and setting up your first board is straightforward. You can drag and drop cards, assign tasks to team members, and add due dates with just a few simple clicks. Even if you've never used a project management app before, you'll find Trello easy to figure out. 
Now, what makes Trello even better is how customizable it is. You can use pre-designed templates for different projects like event planning or content creation or build your boards from scratch. And if you ever feel overwhelmed by all the options, there are plenty of tutorials and guides to help you get started. One thing to watch out for is that your boards can get cluttered if you're managing a lot of tasks or projects at once. But Trello offers tools like labels and filters to help you stay organized. You can also archive cards or lists that you're no longer using to keep things tidy. How does Trello handle collaboration? Trello is built for collaboration. You can invite team members to your boards, assign them to specific tasks, and track their progress. You can also leave comments on cards, share files, and tag people to get their attention. While it doesn't have a built-in chat feature, Trello integrates seamlessly with apps like Slack, so you can keep communication flowing. One feature I really like is that Trello allows you to see all activity on a card so you know who's done what and when. This is especially helpful for teams working remotely as it keeps everyone on the same page without endless emails or check-ins. However, if you're managing a large team, you might find the free plan's permission settings a bit limited. For more control over who can view or edit your boards, you'll need to upgrade to the premium or enterprise plan. Is Trello secure? Trello takes security seriously. It includes two-factor authentication on all plans, so you'll need a second form of verification to log in. It also encrypts your data, both while it's being transferred and when it's stored. For larger organizations, the enterprise plan offers extra security features, like single sign-on, which allows users to log in with their company credentials and custom permissions. Now, while Trello's built-in security is solid, you should be cautious about any third-party power-ups you use. Some of these add-ons might handle your data differently, so it's worth checking their privacy policies if security is a top concern for your business. Who should use Trello? Trello is perfect for individuals and small to medium-sized teams who want a simple, visual way to manage tasks and projects. It's especially useful for creative teams, remote workers, and freelancers. So if you're juggling multiple projects and want something easy to use and customizable, Trello is a fantastic option. However, if you're managing a large enterprise or need advanced features like Gantt charts or detailed reporting, Trello might not be the best fit without adding expensive power-ups or upgrading to the enterprise plan. In that case, tools like Asana or Monday.com might be worth exploring. So is Trello worth trying? Absolutely. Its simplicity, flexibility, and generous free plan make it one of the best tools out there for managing tasks and projects. While it does have some limitations, especially for larger teams or advanced features, it's still an excellent choice for most small and medium-sized teams. Now, if you're still not sure whether Trello is the right fit for you, I'd say give the free plan a try by checking out the link in the description. It's risk-free and you'll quickly see if it fits your workflow. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.